Hello and welcome to One North Main, BCA's magazine show where we highlight the people, places and events that make this city, our city, great. Ah yes, it is St. Patrick's Day and we celebrate here in Brockton with three special events. We have the police fire mass held at St. Patrick's Church. We're here at the Council on Aging to cover their St. Patrick's Day festivities. And then finally, we're over at City Hall for a busy and fun celebration to commemorate a great holiday. So sit back and relax and see what your community, the City of Champions, has to offer. <laughs> As we wait with breathless anticipation for the Council on Aging to begin their festivities, let's shoot over to City Hall and enjoy their celebration of St. Patrick's Day at the annual St. Patrick's Day ceremony led by Maya Carpenter. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our official ceremonies recognizing Irish Heritage Day here at uh, Brockton City Hall. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. Our thanks to the uh, Brockton Firefighters Pipes and Drums uh, for performing, and we'll hear some more from them in just a few moments. And uh, we'd like to invite the council boards. As I was going over the pathway, I met with Captain Farrell and his money was counted. I first produced me pistol and then produced me breaker. Say stand and deliver or you call a boat to see how much a week you do it all. Whack for the daddy o Whack for the daddy o There's whiskey in the jar. I counted out his money and it made a pretty penny. I put it in the pocket and I took it home to Jenny. She sighed and she swore that she never would deceive me. But the devil take the woman for they never can be easy. But she'll be Whack for the daddy-o. Whack for the daddy-o. There's whiskey in the jar. I went into my chamber. All four would take a slumber. I dreamt of golden jewels and for sure it was no wonder. But Jenny drew me charges and she filled them up with water. Then sent for Captain Farrell to be ready for the swallow. Well, 
lying if I said that this wasn't my favorite Flag Day celebration of the year. So, as much as I enjoy all of them, this is uh, uh, this is the one that I, I really uh, enjoy the most. Um, we will. Uh, I'd like to ask uh, each of the members of the delegation and. Uh, you know we've got the right delegation for St. Patrick's Day when it's representatives Cronin, Cassidy, and Brady, uh, <laughs> along with Representative Dubois uh, here to celebrate with us uh, this morning. So uh, Representative Cronin, I'll invite you up first. The story of the Irish is one of hope, sacrifice, and overcoming hardship. While Irish immigrants initially faced hardship and discrimination, they persevered with the dream that in America, anything is possible. They worked hard to build our nation while their hearts were still in the Emerald Isle. They helped help shape our history, fighting alongside the Minutemen in the American Revolution and for freedom in the Civil War. Their hard work is reflected in many of our railroads, canals, and in the infrastructure of our port cities. The Irish not only helped build America, but their hope and strong sense of community runs deep within our culture. At this time, I'd like to uh, in invite the uh, newest member of our legislative uh, delegation, uh, Representative Jerry Cassidy, up to say a few words. Uh, thank you for having me here. Um, as I remember last week at this time, we were speaking about the, uh, the Strand uh, firefighters. All 13 were uh, Irish uh, descendants. And I guess you had to be Irish to, uh, you know, either be on the gas company or the police or, you know, my grandfather was a policeman here in the city years ago as I was going around knocking on doors. I always thought my last name was Cassidy the Cop. Um, he was, uh, he would be down here on Belmont Street and uh, Main Street with the green gloves. Uh, as a lot of people, you know, remember my grandfather. Uh, the second person I really, you know, admire the most was, you know, my, my former boss, Thomas Patrick Kennedy. He always uh, referred to himself as Patrick. This was his high holiday, as, as we all know. And as I look at uh, Senator Brady, he would call the uh, shamrocks that would pass out, they'd call them clovers, right, Mike? And Tommy would uh, always say, get it right, it's shamrocks, shamrocks. But uh, last year at this point, we uh, mailed out about 13,000 uh, St. Patrick's Day cards. And uh, you know, there's, I knew there was th uh, 13,000 of them because I would stuff, fold, and seal all of them. It would take us, you know, I'd be there till like 1, 2 in the morning taking care of the, uh, the St. Patrick's Day cards that uh, Tommy, for the last 20 years, held up in high esteem. So I just want to read his last uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day card to everybody. Uh, on the front, it would say, May soft be the grass beneath you. May fair be the skies above you. May many, of, many be the joys that surround you. May true be the hearts that love you. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. I would like to uh, bring up to the microphone now uh, our state senator, Mike Brady. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and welcome to everybody here to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And our hearts are, are, are tough today because this is the first um, St. Patrick's Day that we do not have our good friend, Senator Tom Kennedy, with us. And I know he's up and having a look down upon us with, uh, with the many other people who have gone before us. But, uh, you know, in, in, in Boston, uh, this is known as Evacuation Day. And in Ireland, St. Patrick, it was a day that um, St. Patrick brought Christianity to Ireland. But locally here in Brockton, we know it as a day that St. Patrick drove the snakes out of the city of Brockton. So God bless you. <laughs>
Hansel on Aging is also known as the Mary Cruz Senior Center. It held a special place in the heart of our late Senator, Tom Kennedy. He passed, but his legacy continued at the annual police fire mass held at St. Patrick's Church. It was quite a ceremony. Let's take a look. You know, right from the beginning, it was almost impossible. He was born homeless, uneducated, to a family that was being forced to immigrate to a foreign land because people wanted to kill them. And God gave Jesus the command to go and to change the world. He only gathered 12 people around him. That small band of almost 2,000 years ago have changed the world. All the odds were against them. People were threatening to kill him all the time. And yet Jesus knew what he had to do was to bring his love, his light, and his joy to the world. Well, people have emulated that for years or have tried to. St. Patrick was sent to Ireland to try to bring this Catholicism to a community that did not want to hear from him. He was sent by himself. The odds were all against him. Nothing seemed to be working for him. Imagine having a job where everything seemed to be against you. Imagine being alone in a job when it felt like nobody cared about you and the people just wanted to take your life. St. Patrick is a wonderful example to us of what a person can accomplish when they trust in God's grace.
reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices together. They shout for joy when the Lord returns. Zion, they will see it within their own eyes. Burst into songs of joy together, your ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord will lay bare his holy arm, the sight of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For State Senator Thomas Patrick Kennedy, may all elected officials emulate the, state, the late Senator Kennedy by serving with compassion, honesty, and dignity in carrying out our sacred duties given to them by a trusted electorate. We pray to the Lord. May the gifts of the Holy Spirit, wisdom, understanding, and piety be abundantly instilled in the hearts of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all Catholic bishops, clergy, and church officials as they carry out their beautiful life's vocation. We pray to the Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, or hardship, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. It wouldn't be St. Patrick's Day in Brockton without the Council on Aging and their annual St. Patrick's Day celebration. Behind me, the crowd grows as they're about to enter into a world of fun, a world of song, and a world of shamrocks. Let's sit back and enjoy Council on Aging's St. Patrick's Day festivities. I love this event. This is our annual St. Patrick's Day event. We have 150 seniors. I wish we could have a lot more, but we're um, here today celebrating the green, having a nice Irish dinner, um, and just having a good time. The first song we're going to sing, we want you all to sing with us. It's Happy Birthday for Janice. Happy Birthday to you. for the festivities here at the Council on Aging. Happy St. Patty's Day. Oh, yeah. Hey, darling, what is your name? Uh, Ginger O'Connor. Ginger, what are you looking forward to today at this wonderful event? 
I'm looking forward to hearing the councillors come in and sing the Irish songs. Yes, and the council play, could. And play all the uh, instruments that they play, guitars. and yeah, I don't know if they have a drum yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Did you bring your drum kit? No, <laughs> I don't. I don't play. I'll I'll sing with them. <laughs> oh, all right. We they look. Let me. <laughs> if they, I'm sure they'll let you. I'm sure oh, they'll they, let you. They're good. They are good. They're good entertainment. Uh, I just want to wish everyone a happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, my carpenter part of the family is not Irish, but I am half Irish. My mother, uh, my mother's parents were born in Ireland. I, my Irish roots go back to County Clare and County Sligo. So uh, not the carpenter part of the family, but the other part of the family are all Keneally's and Manning's and O'Shea's and Reedy's and uh, so most of my uh, cousins and family are all, uh, are all Irish. So this is one of my favorite days of the year. Um, it's a great day to, I like to today amongst having a great time, uh, also be very proud of my Irish heritage and reflect upon uh, the contributions of Irish Americans to this country and particularly uh, in the late late 1800s, early 1900s through the 20th century, uh, along with many other immigrants from Europe, uh, the Irish were instrumental in building this country. And I'm very proud of uh, uh, the Irish contributions to the United States. So everyone's Irish today. Enjoy the dinner. Have a great St. Patrick's Day. Thank you. I want to welcome Red Sullivan, who's here. Yay! I also want to um, just have State Rep Claire Cronin come in for a second. She um, is and continues to be a great support for us at the COA and for us seniors. Um, and she has, or she is supporting legislation in regards to the circuit breaker property tax credit. And I just wanted um, for us to say thank you very, very much for doing that. It's going to help a lot of folks out. But I just wanted to take a second and explain a little bit more what that's about. Thank you, Claire. Yeah, don't like to interrupt the party, but uh, you will have on your tables, there is a little brochure, and it explains a property tax credit uh, for elders. I know it's tax season. Some of you may not have done your taxes, and there's some information on there that might be helpful when you're reducing um, your tax payments. So just enjoy that, but very happy St. Patrick's Day for all of you. Take care. We're starting our capital campaign to raise funds to add on to the back of the building. No, it's woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Yeah. We all know that when we have newly elected officials, there is a little bit of an initiation that goes along with that. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. So, who is feeling, oh, uh, no, no, you don't have a phone call. Who is, who is our newly elected officials? Can we see some hands? Actually, could you stand? Hold on. You must wear a hat. <laughs> and we would like you just to sing. Go ahead. Oh, no. At least they're Irish. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sing very well in large crowds. No, no just go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Whiskey, you're the devil. You're leading me astray. <laughs> Alright, so do they pass the initiation? Yeah. Thank you, welcome. We look forward to working with you and I'm glad you're here today. This is our first year without Senator Kennedy here. And as you know, he used to always bring us those beautiful shamrock plants um, and always had a nice message or a poem or a story. So, Jerry, um, being a very dear friend and aide to him, um, has a message. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Uh, we know this is a uh, tough time for Tommy not being here this, this year. He, he, uh, last year we sent out 15,000 St. Patrick's Day cards, and I hope everyone in the room got one, because I was in charge of stopping the ceiling. So I just want to read his last uh, St. Patrick's Day card. It uh, says, May soft be the grass beneath you. May fear be the skies above you. May many be the joys that surround you. 
May true be the hearts that love you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you. Brockton, another one North Main in the books. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this St. Patrick's Day special. To learn more about Brockton Community Access, please visit our website at bcatv.org. You can also check out our YouTube page, youtube.com backslash the Brockton Channel's all one word. For everyone in one North Main, I'm Jay Miller, and we will see you around town. <laughs>